Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a few new products that are on the market. Um, I have a few of them that I was testing out and I was using them all wrong, girl. So I'm gonna show you the right way to use them today. So ready, let's go. Um, I so far have uh, only primed my face with my moisturizer. Um, lately I have been using the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. This is one of my favorite moisturizers right now for my face. I like it because it's a little bit thicker. Um, it's not thicker, thicker. I don't know how to explain it to be honest. It's almost, it just gives me the right amount of moisture for exactly what I need um, because of like the weather change that's going on in Chicago right now. So that is a wonderful moisturizer. And then um, I have been using this Skin Dew Mist from Pharmacy. It's a hydrating essence and I love it. I love it because it just sprays out so thick and juicy. So I'm gonna use that along with this Smashbox primer water. This is the Photo Finish Primer Water. I really like this. I'm not sure if it is making a huge difference in my makeup application, but I do feel like it's a wonderful prep for the skin. Um, I will still use a primer because it does go with my foundation. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna use the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Um, this is like a smaller size. They do have larger sizes of it. Um, I like this one to use with the Hourglass Foundation. I feel like it just makes a really big difference in how it applies. I think that this primer makes your skin feel ultra smooth. Um, I feel like it does create a nice barrier between the makeup and your face. And um, I also feel like it makes the makeup kind of apply in a more um, smooth way. Um, I have noticed like if I use too much of this foundation, this is the new foundation I'm going to be using, Hourglass Vanish Foundation. Now this is a stick foundation by Hourglass and I have two different colors. I have linen and buff. Okay, so here's the thing though. I was like doing stripes on my face much like what um, Jaclyn Hill was doing. What you don't realize about this foundation is super, super concentrated and a little bit goes a long way. So you're literally going to dot in little triangles. And then I just blend it out with a brush. Now I use linen first and I kind of go over, you know, a good section of my face and I do these like little triangles now this might even seem like a lot to some of you because um, they do say it's highly concentrated just use a little bit but this literally is a dot size on your face and all you have to do it's almost like a little stamper all you do is like stamp it right on and then I take the other color which is buff and I kind of go in between just in a few areas just to give me um, a little bit better um, color payoff. Linen and buff are pretty similar in color wise, but buff is just a tad bit darker. So I like to put this in the areas uh, between my cheeks here just to cover like some of my redness. Some areas of like the bottom half of my face for like a light contour and highlight, but that's really about it. So you're gonna see there's tiny little dots of makeup all over my face and this might even be a little bit too much but for the sake of the video I'm going to show you then I take a large brush and I buff it out this way so I'll buff it down to the sides and then in like little circular motions what I also like about the artiste brush this is the artiste brush from the elite collection from the mirrored one what I like about the Artiste brush is A, it's made of Cosma fiber and it's a very fine um, head on the brush. It's not even like a bristle or anything like that. It's just a very fine fiber that's at the head of the brush and I feel like that this distributes the product a lot better than some of the other foundation brushes that I was using. I really wanted to get my hands on the um, foundation brush that Hourglass sells to go with this product but it's sold out. It's my Sephora. 
is the best way to get a really nice full coverage complexion with the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. I feel like I am covered, but I'm before when I was using too much of the product, I almost kind of like saw a lot of texture on the face. I wasn't a big fan of that, and it made me look a lot older than what I was. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face, and I'll show you guys just like a simple everyday afternoon look. Um, I usually do this look when I'm filming um, because I want a higher coverage, but I don't want like, to look like a, I don't know, it's still daytime, I'm still gonna go do some stuff.
I'm feeling festive. Oh, it's so pretty. And that's it. No highlighter. I know, it's crazy. Well, it's because I used the highlighter as a blush, so. Done a quick couple of things about this foundation. If you don't like it, chances are you're using too much and that could be the issue. So the finish of this foundation, I would say, isn't really dewy or matte. I would just say that it's a nice, natural kind of satin type finish. There's too much of it. It can get very textury looking. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but like kind of like when you get up close, like from a far away, it looks so bomb. But like when you get up close, you can see like basically all these bumps and stuff on your face that may or may not exist in real life so if you're using too much of the foundation you're gonna have that effect so I definitely do recommend using the hourglass mineral veil primer underneath it I feel like it does make a difference I have tested this with other primers um, and I don't like the finish as much sometimes I like to use more of an illuminating um, dewy type of bronzer and when I do that it doesn't always have the same payoff as it does when I use this primer. So this primer is just a mineral base. It has definitely a creamy feel to it, but when you put it on, it does glide on. Um, and it does kind of have like, almost like a silicone-y type, very, do you know what I'm saying? Does this make sense to you? Really affect um, how the foundation goes on and how it wears. Again, if you're using too much, you're not gonna like it. So definitely use the stamping method, not the striping method. I feel like you're gonna notice a big difference. And I use the Artiste brush to um, blend it out only because the Artiste brush, it doesn't really absorb a ton of product. And um, I like the Cosmo Fiber head on it. I feel like it makes a huge difference with how my foundation um, applies and lays on my face but you can use any type of brush that you have I have tons of brushes sitting here in front of me um, I use this little um, flat top it's almost like a kabuki style this is the expert face brush I use this a lot um, I also use this tart brush a lot it's just it just says tart on it I'm sorry but it's a weird slanted type of one but it's just very dense um, and I feel like it helps spread product a little bit easier. Uh, I also like to use some of these flat top kabukis that are real flat top kabukis. Um, uh, I think I've used everything to apply this aside from a stippling brush. Um, I'm not really a stippling brush fan on any of my foundation applications. Um, I bet the Beauty Blender would also do wonders. So my um, immediate thoughts on this Hourglass Foundation is that it, I do really like it. I like the finish that it gives. I was using way too much in the beginning. You'll see like some videos. I'll kind of put them in here too also. Um, and you'll see like how much I was using. That's too much homegirl. Don't do that. Colors, you don't have to get two colors, but I just like the way that they kind of blend together. Excited, but I'm not fair by any means. I would say that I'm like light to light medium. Um, 
so I like to mix colors together because I feel like it gives me a better application. Um, listed in the description box down below, down below, such as where you can buy this foundation, how much it costs, the brush that I use to apply it, and then the brush that is on the Sephora website. But if you're anywhere near like Chicago, that brush is sold out almost everywhere. So whatever. I hope you have a wonderful day. Let me know if you test out this foundation also and let me know of your thoughts. I hope that you like it. Have a good week. Bye.